another improvement that I'd like to do is I, w I don't want my local to be bogged down. I don't have a very strong machine, right? Let's, for example, let's say that um, I didn't want it to open all the browsers. Let's, let's run it in headless mode. So um, basically headless mode is running Selenium through the API calls and not necessarily through the browser specifically. Um, so what we can do is we can actually set our Chrome options to run headless, which means that it won't open the browser um, during the test and kind of bog down. It, it's, it helps speed up tests and performance wise. There are some drawbacks. Obviously, you're not going to get the same type of coverage. Um, as far as like being a realistic user going through the application, but there's this other um, the benefit is that it runs faster, execution is faster, and that, um, you know, less performance on, or better performance on your machine. So to do that, we're going to go down to Chrome options. We're going to do Chrome options dot add arguments. I'm going to simply just add an argument for running headless. Now you can do this for a lot of things. You can run this to disable your GPU. You can um, do all you can send it all different types of arguments, but today we're gonna to do headless. So we do dash dash headless uh, and that's it. So now when I run this, it's actually not gonna open a browser. It's gonna just simply run um, the steps headless. 